All right, so today I'm going to be going over an iPhone 7. So for the iPhone 6 and the, and the 6 Plus, there were a lot of issues with something called Bendgate, and I linked to that below where the frames were made of this really junky aluminum, and it was very easy for the thing to bend. Uh, some people were saying that it only happened to people who put the phone in their pocket, uh, in the back pocket, and I'll, I'll admit that if you're putting your phone in your back pocket and sitting down, that's not exactly the smartest thing to do with a $600 device. But... There are people that had this issue just from minor drops, and uh, I, I was going to show you here an iPhone 7 that we got uh, for data recovery because it had one drop, one drop from normal height. Uh, so we're I'm going to show you what the board looked like, I'm going to show you what the case looked like, and I'm going to show you what the inside of the phone looked like. Now, if you're interested in these type of bend tests, there's this really good YouTube channel called Jerry Rig Everything where he does, he opens the devices up, he bends them, he tries his hardest, and unlike me, he actually has muscles, so you know it's it's a real test. And uh, he'll show you what they look like uh, after the attempts at bending. So if you're interested in that type of stuff, check out Jerry Rig Everything's channel. He's a really nice guy. Met him for uh, lunch a few times when he came to New York. So the first thing I want to do is show you what the case looks like. So let me just get this. Uh, I got this new zoom lens on my camera. I switched them between the Sony and this, so I should be able to show you, without having to resort to digital zoom, what this looks like really close up. All right, so this is the phone case itself. I'm just going to cover the customer info, because that would be, and you, you can see, eh? Oh, stop focusing on this. Shoot. Focus, you piece of, yeah, see? It's kind of bent. The case bends very easily, and you can see right here in the SIM card tray that that is quite bent as well. Damn, this camera just zooms and zooms and zooms. So that's a, some sexy zoom lens. But now my hand is the bottleneck here. So you can see that the SIM card tray is bent, uh, and you can see th that the rest of the thing is bent looking. Yeah, you're Jerry Rig Shill, says Polly. Yes, I am a Jerry Rig Shill. And I like his stuff. He produces good stuff. Now the next thing that you can see is well, what that happen what the what happens to the board when the case is so flimsy. Well, let me just kick off that little piece of shield. So I removed the shield so that you'll be able to see inside the phone. So this is th this looks like Tony Hawk's Pro Skater here, like zoom. You can see what this this is. This is this is pretty bent. See, uh, this is as crooked as insert your political commentary here. Uh, so you put that there, and watch. If I put it on the desk, you'll be able to notice it. <coughs> Look at that. Look at that. Look at that board. And lastly, uh, I don't even think I have to do microscope for this. I could probably do it straight up from this camera with this sick zoom lens. I finally took the zoom lens off this. Uh, I switched them, so I don't use the zoom lens on the regular camera anymore. I use it on the upper camera. But yeah, if you want to see how silly that looks, by the way, watch. Check this out. <laughs> so look at the uh, look at look at the <laughs> camera that I have. So that's the Sony A5100 with the lens from the NEX EA50 on it, which is absolutely kind of ridiculous looking, but makes for a nice picture. Switch back to that. And if I go into the microscope, you'll be able to see what happens from that one single drop if I zoom in over here. So you'll see that, oh my, yes, this was sent in for data recovery and ouch! Look at that. Look at that. That is, that is one beautiful pile of $600 device engineering right there. <laughs> Someone says, poor audio, I see. Yep. And you'll also see the, I believe, I believe this is the PMIC. I'm not sure off the top of my head. I'm pretty sure that's PMIC over here. Is if I lo view it from an angle or I increase the brightness, you should be able to see the, that it's actually cracked in four sections. So no part of this phone was shown any mercy from that drop. Uh, you could, yeah, bam. 
Now, I'm not sure if you, you guys remember. I'm, I'm going to try and link it below. But I, there was a video where I took my Moto G and I threw it at the wall as hard as I could over and over again. So at, I just took it and I smashed it against the wall over and over and over and over and over again. Still turned on. Still, f you know, wha the, the, bo the casing wasn't bent at all. And that Moto G was a $179 phone. That is... I think one step above a blue, it's pretty much as cheap as you can get, and it was actually very functional. And this is the $600 iPhone, uh, one single drop, and you got this. This is, I mean, I think this speaks for itself. Like, wow. You need a new hard hat for that camera mount. Yes, I do. So yeah, that is, th that, that's painful. That is, ouch. Hi. People lie all the time. Why would Lewis choose to believe this one, says Jow. Uh, I would choose to believe this one because I've heard this story from a bunch of people, and people walk in every single day with this specific issue on these specific phones, and these issues did not occur at all with the iPhone 4. Just to be clear, iPhone 4, 4S, uh, lots of issues, but nothing related to the case. This is purely an issue since they started using this new, cheap, aluminum, hyper-thin case design stuff, which, again, Moto G is still slim, Samsung is still slim, but, yep, that's the inside of the iPhone 7 for you. Ain't that pretty. Ain't that pretty. By the way, if you need a new audio IC, check out store.rustmangroup.com for great deals on tools, chipsets, soldering, and more. That's it for today, and as always, I hope you learned something. Shilling completed.